Hey guys, how's it going? Wild Hot Shot here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable iPad multi gestures with Windows on your iPad One or Two. So, uh, a note that you got to kind of take effect that uh, this does work on the iPad One and iPad Two on 4.3 and 4.3.1 that I know of. Any other ones? I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty positive that it should work. But uh, the first step you want to do is you got to make sure you have at least iTunes 10. And you know you have iTunes 10 because it's got this blue logo instead of the gray logo. logo. Um, so just make sure you have at least iTunes 10. Um, the next thing you want to have is iBackupBot for iTunes. Uh, this is free, uh, so that's great. Um, the links will be in the description if you need them. So step two is what you have to do is you have to have your iPad connected. As you can see, I already have my iPad connected here and uh, you just have it connected like normal so uh, then you, what you want to do is go ahead and open up iTunes just like normal um, then you go over here where your devices are and you want to right click and back up and I'm not going to back up because I want to for the sake of the time of this video but you just want to back up now when that's done backing up you can go ahead and close out of iTunes really doesn't matter and you want to go over here to I, I back up by for iTunes and go ahead and open that up now it should do some short loading here and then it's done and what you see over here it says iTunes backup and it has all your backed up stuff recently apparently I'm, I'm not really sure but it has your backed up items right here and right here is my iPad 2 um, what you want to do from here is you want to click just for the iPad 2 and a whole bunch of folders like this open up now what you gotta find is library preferences com.apple.springboard.plist and you can make this alphabetical order if you click the path button to make it a little bit easier to find. So right here I found the library preferences com.apple.springboard.plist. What you want to do is to go ahead and double click on that and if this pops up it's asking you to register but you really don't have to. Uh, you just go ahead and click cancel and it gets by just like that. Um, what you want to do next is click after one of these trues and you just go ahead and click enter do that so it makes a new line so type what's on the screen and type it in and when you're done it should look like this right here now when you get that typed in you can go ahead and go up here and click the save button I'm not gonna click it because I've already done that but you just click the save button and then you can close out of this no I don't want to save um, and what you get to do next is push control T and what that's gonna do is it's gonna back up your or it's gonna restore your iPad so you just want to click yes and I'm not gonna click this because the sake of time for this video so right now at this point your iPad should be restoring and then when it's done restoring it should be restarting so um, and then you you'll get to this point of the on your iPad and it will be officially uh, gestured I guess you could say um, something to note about this is that if you go into your settings um, you will not have the option to turn on or off the gestures so you're pretty much stuck with it but I mean if you don't want to use them you just don't use your hands just use the button instead um, but like the gestures you can do is five finger pinch and it closes the app out you can do Twitter here and four fingers over goes to the next app um, four fingers up brings up the multitasking bar or um, then four fingers down so it's just a really neat unique um, kind of feature that the iPad 1 and 2 can have but doesn't have on initial uh, order or you know when you first purchase it I don't know why they didn't do that but this is how you enable uh, iPad multi gestures with Windows I know there's a Mac tutorial out there that you can do but people have not uh, don't have Macs uh, they have Windows uh, PC systems and this is how you do it for Windows so uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions go ahead and ask remember to like the video if you liked it go ahead and subscribe if you think this helped you out if you have any questions just go ahead and ask and until next time this is wireless hotshot thanks for watching